Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to the Bridge Builders of Diversity, where we're bridging the gap between the typical community and the disability community. And today we're going to talk about hydronatus supertiva in the association with Down syndrome. Now, I'm not a medical doctor, but I'm going through this with my own son who has Down syndrome. Um, I already did a video about this We'd gone to the dermatologist. We thought we'd, he just had a um, hair follicle acne and it kept progressing and progressing. So hydronatus supertiva um, is a chronic skin condition characterized by recurrent painful deep nodules and abscesses of the auxiliary breast groin in inogenital region. So there's research studies on the association between Down syndrome and um, hydronatus supertiva. So at first the dermatologist wasn't sure and I was very delighted to see when I went back to our follow-up appointment that she had researched this and there is a seems to be a correlation. Again, I'm not a doctor, but I will attach these research articles for you. Uh, this one is Prevalence and Description of Hydronatus Supertiva in Down Syndrome, a cross-sectional study of 783 subjects. And I have a couple other articles here too, all research articles. Um, so we, we thought he just had um, a regular acne that he was going to outgrow once he uh, was done maturing. It was getting worse. We went back. Uh, she, she was suspicious of the hydronatus supertiva. And then we both did our research. Again, I, I'm grateful that she went and go research the connection with the Down syndrome. So if you do have a child with Down syndrome and their acne is getting worse and they're getting these abscesses, they're kind of nasty. They're very painful. I know my son was like showing them to me. So if you have a child who's not verbal and they're really um, being like, you need to look, you need to look in places where the sun don't shine, um, be willing to take a look because um, you want to make sure that if they do have something like this, that they're getting the appropriate treatment because it is very painful and hurts. And, and then like my son is more susceptible to infections. So I need to make sure I'm staying on top of this. So um, the hypothesis in this is there's a genetic link with Down syndrome could explain the suggested increase of the hydronatus supertiva, which is abbreviated HS. So if you hear me say HS, that's hydronatus supertiva in the Down syndrome population, which those of us who are in the Down syndrome world, DS is the abbreviation for Down syndrome. So I know many people may not know the science end of things, but the gamma secretes a transmembrane protease plays a key role in the HS. So this is all associated with the 21st chromosome. So that's where the link is. So the accumulation of the APP in Down syndrome may occur due to the trisomy of chromosome 21 in DS. So that's where the link is with this um, hydronatus supertiva to Down syndrome because it's a, a associated on the 21st chromosome from what I understand. Again, I'm not a doctor. Uh, so um, I just always had a passion for um, science. So I took a lot of science classes. So Ironically, I understand some of this stuff. <laughs> so don't be concerned if you don't. But again, just if you're seeing the acne on your child with Down syndrome and it's progressing and it's getting worse and they're uh, getting big and pustular and purpley, um, you know, check in with a dermatologist um, to check to make sure it's it's not this hydronatus supertiva, and if it is, make sure you're getting the appropriate treatment for your child. Um, so seek out that dermatologist if, um, you know, because I was thinking this was something he was going to outgrow. Um, you know, as special needs moms are always having to deal with many diagnoses, not just the Down syndrome or the autism or whatever your child's diagnosis may be. Um, some uh, disabilities come with other health care issues, especially Down syndrome. Um, they can have a plethora of other um, 
diagnoses that come up through the years. So you always got to be paying attention. Don't be afraid to Google stuff, see what's going on, go back, ask the doctor questions. Um, again, I, I'm a mother of a child with Down syndrome. Uh, he's 17. So I've been dealing with a lot of these things. When he was first born, he was in the PICU. He uh, was a cardiac baby at open heart surgery at five months old. So I've been through the gamut of many surgeries. He just had a surgery two days ago, which I'm gonna do a separate video on. Um, so I understand where a lot of parents are coming from. So you're juggling work, juggling school, IEPs, medical issues, your home, your family, your friends, it gets really crazy. That's why it's so important to take care of you and to have an outlet. Like I love to go hiking, so that's one of my outlets. Um, and then my friend Roberta and co-speaker, you know, she's a special educator. So she brings a different lens to these conversations uh, where she's the educator who may have to look out for some of these things in the classroom if there's a healthcare issue going on or the paraprofessionals along with um, educating our children. You know, so we see this world from very different lenses, but they're, they're very important um, to work together in the community of the parent, the educators, the paraprofessionals, you know, home workers, um, or whatever stage your child's at. Um, but I will definitely put these articles in the descriptions and the links to them. The other one is prevalence of hydronata supertiva among patients with Down syndrome or population-based cross-sectional analysis. And you know, when you're looking for medical stuff or any type of, um, of information, you, you wanna make sure it's backed up by research and has those footnotes and stuff like that. So um, makes it more reliable. All right, so I will definitely uh, put these articles below. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel if you like to watch Roberta and I's TED Talk on uh, people with disabilities ready for hire. Please do so. I'll attach that somewhere along the video that you can click on it. All right, would be greatly appreciated. And please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Get it out into the YouTube universe. We'd appreciate it. And again, I will... Um, attach these articles so you can um, read them yourselves. So if you have any concerns about your child with Down syndrome and skin issues, they are at higher risk um, for hydronata supertiva, according to the articles. Again, I'm not a medical doctor. It's something that I'm personally dealing with at home and wanted to bring light to it, uh, to our friends, families, and community out there for people of children with Down syndrome or in their care so you can keep an eye out for it because it is very painful, hurts, and you want to be on top of it. Again, we appreciate you all. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Appreciate it. Thank you.